In this video, we're going to look at the work required to stretch out a spring. To do so, we're going to use Hooke's Law. Hooke's Law says the force required to maintain a spring stretched x units beyond its natural length is proportional to x. So using k as the, proportion, using k as the constant of proportionality, we get f equals kx. Now let's see how that is used. So we have a spring whose natural unstretched length is 20 centimeters. Now what we're going to do is apply a 25 newton force to keep it stretched to 30 centimeters. So it's the same spring, but now it's stretched out and it's stretched out an additional 10 centimeters. Now what we need to do to find out the work required to stretch it from 20 to 25 is first we need to figure out what, what the force is at any particular point. That's where Hooke's Law comes in. We know F equals Kx and we so we're told that a 25 Newton force is required to stretch it to 30 centimeters. Now, this is where the distance it's being stretched needs to be put in. But notice X is the number of units beyond its natural length. 20 centimeters is its natural length. We've only stretched it out an additional 10 centimeters. The other thing that we need to attend to is our units. We want to be in meters. Well, 10 centimeters is 0.1 meter. So we're going to put 0.1 in here for x, which gives us k equals 250. So now we have our varying force. So 250x. Now we can calculate our work. So our work is the integral of 250x dx. And now we, thinking of our limits, we're stretching it from 20 centimeters to 25 centimeters. 20 remembers its natural length, so that's just 0. It takes no work to have it at its natural length. And we're moving it 5 centimeters. Well, we also, again, need to be in meters, so the upper limit's going to be 0 0.05. So calculating this integral, we get 125x squared from 0 to 0.05. And that comes out to be 0 0.3125. And now this is work, and since we're in standard units, that's 0.3125 joules. And you can see how this problem um, can be generalized. First thing you find your, is your force using the information given in Hooke's Law. And if we wanted to do, let's say we change the problem, we're going to stretch it, we want to know the work to stretch it from 30 centimeters to 50 centimeters. Well, 30 is 10 centimeters past its natural resting length, so what we would do is the lower limit would be 10 centimeters, but in meters, so 0 0.1. And this is 30 centimeters here, so it would be 0 0.3. So we can even see how this one would generalize to other uh, springs.